hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel is your girl blessing if you are new in this channel please and you have not subscribed to this channel please just join the family by clicking on the subscribe button and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video you will be notified so guys and if you find this video interesting and you find it helpful at the end of this video give it a thumbs up so guys in today's tutorial we'll be making this beautiful gown in my previous video i i make i, I draft the pattern and in this video i will join all my fabrics to create this gown so let's get into the tutorial so guys like i said i drafted my pattern in my previous video so now i've went ahead to transfer my pattern to my main fabric as you can see i cut out four pieces in this this colored crepe so for this upper part here i cut four as well please if you have not watched that video please i will appreciate if you go and watch it so that you will understand what we are doing here so now guys this is the damp part okay this is the damp part of the gown so like i said if you have not watched the pattern drafting please endeavor to watch it so that you will understand everything we are doing here okay so now we'll be working with the the upper part first so i will just keep all this side this other uh, pattern aside so like the way you see me now, I'm removing out my pattern paper from the main fabric, okay? So, let's work with the fabric. So, I will bring out to right side, meeting right side, and I will take it to my sewing machine, run the side and the, the neckline. I will also do the same thing to the other side. So, for this other middle part for the front, I will also go ahead to remove my pattern paper from it by removing my pin okay then i'll take my pattern paper off and separate it you remember we cut four of it so i will ensure that the two sides the main fabric and the lining correspond together okay then right side meeting right side then i'll take it to my sewing machine then i'll sew from there so for this other side okay i'll sew for the both sides and leave the up and the down so guys you can see i have sewed it i and i i, I turn it over and i to stitch the up and the down part okay you can see that you can see the side i turn it over to the right side and the other side as well and i gave it a very good press okay so these are the two parts okay you can see they are equal so guys that is that so the next step is to take our darts so i will just fold it like this and mark my dart so i'll go ahead to sew my darts okay so guys you remember at the front we we space 1.5 inches for zipper allowance so now i've make use of half inches then remaining one inches for the zipper so i will just go ahead to mark my one inches for my zipper hope you're understanding i for the pattern drafting i i mark 1.5 inches for my zipper allowance now i've used half inches to turn it over so remaining one inches so this is the one inches i'm marking now so from this one inches i will mark my nipple to nipple measurement from the one inches we mark i will mark my nipple to nipple measurement down to the waistline okay like I said, if you are confused, you have not watched the pattern drafting, please, I will encourage you to watch it. And it's very detailed, okay? You will find it helpful. So, after washing that part, you can come over to this one and wash to have a good understanding. So, this is my nipple to nipple measurement. I will just go ahead to rule it up like this. So, for the waist area, we... Coming by half a uh, one inches for the both side. So now I will try to make to connect my my to make sure I measure my 
waistline i don't know if you understand so that i will able to have the the dart at the right place at the right side okay so i will minus where my yoke is okay so that you know the yoke is at the upper part so i will minus it like this and this is my boss point line like this you can see so i will just take it like that i'm trying to figure out the measurement so this is my boss point i'm just calculating it so that i will uh, get my waistline so my waist is 16 so i mark my waist like this okay after marking my waist so from the line there i will use it to create my my that so guys now i've marked my waist my waistline length so from the waist length i will come in by one inches because for the that i came in by one inches on both sides so i will just connect it like that from the one inches down to the hip line like this so i'll take it to my sewing machine and follow the line and stitch them okay so after stitching i will come back to show you how it looks like so guys you can see i have attached my the upper part the lining and the main fabric together i've sewed the, the side you can see the side is very neat and i sewed the, the other side the zipper allowance as well so and i gave it a good press so guys you can see the, my dart i've already uh, sewed my dart you can see how beautiful it comes out and i also give it a good press as well so that is that so the next step is to fix the upper part to the down part okay i will just fix this upper part i will just take one side aside and bring this one the color of the uh, crepe so you can see that the upper part is longer than the down part because we did a, a, sp a spread and splash method so now i will just go ahead to plant it you can swear you can as well gather it to the level to the length of the damp part so that they will be equal okay so i'll quickly so guys here it comes i've attached the upper part to the damp part i plant it but if you don't want to plant you can as well gather it a little bit so this is the other side of the 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 top so you can see that these two must correspond this these two parts here must correct you can see it's well corresponded so guys this is it so now the next step you can see that they are correspond okay so now the next step is to bring that the down parts okay the down part we will also make a gather a, a plate like i pleated my if you want to gather yours it's also fine can gather it up to the actual length of this part here okay but for me i planted it so if you want to gather it's fine as well so guys let me just quickly do that and come back to show you how it looks like so guys you can see i have cleaned mine and it came out very nice okay so this is the other part of the front parts okay i also plant the other side as well and you can see that these two colors they matches each other make sure they matches each other okay so that one will not be longer than one okay they are very equal and it's coming out very nicely so guys the next step now is to the next step is to bring out my zip to insert my zip to this front part okay i will just start start my zip to the front part so guys after inserting i'll quickly come and show you how it looks like so that here it comes i have sewed my zip and i have went ahead to iron it to have a very neat work there so i have already also hem my bottle parts as well so the next step is to bring out my back so for the back i've already hold my dart and i hold the two joining at the back as well I use facet to turn the neckline of the back. So guys, next is to join my shoulder. So for the shoulder, I will join in the next way. I will use the, I will open the back lining and the main fabric and put the front shoulder in between the lining and the main fabric of the back. So to run it down so that I will have a network. 
So now I will also fold my hemi part of the back as well. Okay. So now after that we move over to the sleeve. Okay. So now I'll bring out another fabric for my sleeve. So I'll fold it into two like this. Okay. I'll fold it. This fabric is not enough anyway, but I just decided to manage it. Okay. Because I have a short fabric. Please, if you are making yours, use three years of this white crepe fabric. Okay. So guys, so now I folded my fabric into two and I refold into four again. The width of this sleeve is 10 inches. I'm using 10 inches for the width. But if you want it big, you can make it more than 10 inches. Okay. Is the, the, the higher the number, the higher the, the bigness of the sleeve. So now for the length, I'm using the full length of my sleeve is 25 inches. So I will subtract 4 inches for the band, for the damp part. So after subtracting 4 inches, it, it will remain 21 inches. Then after marking my 21 inches, I will add extra 1 inches for my ease. Okay? For, for the ease so that the, the sleeve, will, it will not be straight. It will be kind of popping. So I will add extra 1. Then half inches for my seam allowance to join to the main fabric to the damp part of the main fabric okay so this all together now I'm marking 22 and half 21 inches for my sleeve one inches for ease of the sleeve half inches for my seam allowance then after marking i will just go ahead to cut at my 22 Point five inches. If you want your sleeve to be, to, if you if you want it bulky, please let the width of this, uh, let the width be more than ten. But I, I don't have enough fabric. That is why I'm using ten. Now, now is coming to the upper part. I will mark my cap height, which is four inches. After measuring my cap height, I will just make a line, a straight line there, okay? So, I will make a straight line there like this, okay? So, guys, after making my straight line now, I will mark my arm hole, my round arm, uh, arm hole measurement. So, I will mark my, uh, my arm hole measurement here. For this part here, I, I mark 9 inches, okay? My round arm O divided by 2 is 7. But I try to mark 9 inches. Instead of you having a short fabric, it's better for you to have your excess so that you can trim off. Okay? So that is why I mark 9. So that is that, guys. So, guys, now after marking, I will now cut from the center like so to meet the arm hole measurement that I marked. Okay? I will just make a kind of curve there so that it will correspond with the with the hand hole. so from then i will just make a slant to meet the end okay then after that i will just go ahead to cut out my sleeve like this okay i will just cut out the sleeve just watch me carefully and see what i am cutting so i will just make a slant like so to correspond to the end like so so that is it for the sleeve okay so guys, this is it. Now I will bring out this other part. Before then, I will notch the midpoint so that I will know my midpoint. So guys, after that, I will bring out the damp part of this sleeve. Okay, like I said before, I said I minus four. So this other damp part, I marked five inches because I will be, I will be joining. Okay, I will join. I added my seam allowance. You can see I folded it into two like this. I folded it into two like this and I ironed it. Then this is how it will be looking like. So now, from there, after folding it into two like this, so you can see I marked five inches. Four inches for the actual length and the remaining one inches for my seam allowance. Okay. So guys, that is it. Now, I will use this uh, 
this uh, this damp pass now the damp pass here is the measurement of the rand my rand the uh, uh, this part here don't know so this, this is the measurements here okay the, and i have added one inches for my seam allowance as well the full length is 10 so i make it 11 so that the full round wrist, I be mean, I add the calling it wrist is ten. So I make it eleven. Okay, for add I added same allowance to it. Now I will now plant it so the actual length of the down part. Okay, I will plant it like so. So guys, after that I will come back to show you how it looks like. So guys, here it comes. You can see I folded the upper part to the lower part. So the exact length of the lower part okay this is how it comes out and i also went ahead to iron it so that it will look very flat and very neat as well so guys this is the other side of it you can see how pretty it comes out so guys the next step is to join my sleeve to my main dress okay i've as well i've as well uh, joined him the back parts the back down parts i don't know if you understand the for the back i hem the down part as well so now it's for me to join my sleeve to the main to the armhole okay i will this part that i notched now i will correspond it to the the part that i joined the the shoulder that i joined okay i will correspond it with the shoulder that i joined but before that, I notice I have some excess at the armhole side. Then I will properly arrange it well so that I will trim out any excess that I have so that it won't affect my sewing. Because if you have excess, guys, your sewing will not be neat. It will be somehow funny. So please, if you have any excess, do it to trim them off before continuing your sewing. So guys, this is me trying to cut out the excess that I have there. So I'll just cut it off like this, okay? So after cutting it off, I will search for the other part if I have uh, have excess as well. So I will cut it off. Then after cutting off, I will go ahead to join my sleeve to it. Like I said, the part that I notch for the sleeve. I notched the part that I notched. I will right side meet the right side. Remember, please. Right side meet the right side. I will correspond it to meet the the shoulder like this. The shoulder that we join correspond it there. And from there, I will sew it down to the side. Okay. Let me quickly take it to my sewing machine and do that so that I will come back to show you how it comes out. So guys, I have done it. This is how it comes out. You can see, looking pretty. So guys, after uh, sewing, I will trim out the excess that is there. Because I have some excess after joining my sleeve to the fab to my uh, gun or to the main fabric. I will just trim it so that I will not have a poof. A, a two puffness there. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say here. So please always trim out some excess because when you are making a dress and you have a a excess, the dress will be kind of too puff thing. But how will I say it? Always trim it so that they will relax very well. So you can see that I am trimming out my excess that I have so that I will not have any kind of buffness at this area here so guys this is it so after that i will just go ahead to close out close my dress our our dress is getting ready so guys at this very moment and if you find this video helpful and if you have not subscribed to this channel please i am begging you subscribe join this family please please subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified on every video i will be posting okay and also give this video a thumbs up and let comment as well if you have any questions please comment i have a room to 
answer all questions please just comment okay and give the video a like give the thumbs up okay so guys let's go back to what we are doing so now i will just arrange my sleeve like this okay ensure that these two hand hold parts meeting each other okay so and also this damp part as well the two uh, color of crepe meeting each other as well so that is that guys i will just take it to my i will join the both back and the front together okay so guys here it comes out our gun is ready ready to wear so guys like i said if you find this video helpful please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not subscribed turn on the notification bell and you won't miss you won't miss any video okay so guys let me quickly rush and wear this gun and see the final look of this gun okay here is the final look of our pretty and beautiful gun we just made you can try this out and give me feedback okay so guys if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up a huge thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not subscribed okay thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys bye see you in the next one